I'll be honest, man. The title, the thumbnail, like this is all. This is just complete, complete. It, it's. I'm really hoping it's clickbait, like, because this is one of the craziest things I've ever read. <laughs> And I had to, I got to react to it just to see if it's true, bro. I, I need to know, like, bro, what are we talking about right now? Like, genuinely, what are we talking about? There's just no shot from playback. I personally was turned on for a long time with the idea of going to Epstein Island. Obviously not me. <laughs> I don't think I've ever yo <laughs> what I don't think I've ever heard a crazier start to a video if them Chris Hansen videos started off with that one clip of the nigga in the kitchen naked if even if that was at the start of a video I don't think that that even like would have been crazier to my ears <laughs> hearing that i don't think that would have that would have been on par with this shit there's literally read the title <laughs> this this title this title does not prepare you for the first eight seconds of the fucking video dog what made this nigga get on camera and say that shit I don't think I'll ever understand the whole, like, why nowadays shame, like, being shameless is supposed to be a good thing. Like, why? Why is not having shame supposed to be a good thing? <laughs> I understand the whole not judging people and minding your own business, but when you put something out there in the public eye, you're kind of, like, you're just going to have to accept the fact that people are going to judge. So... With this, the whole being shameless thing, that just, that's just not realistic, but, like, what the fuck? I'm not rewinding. <laughs> how is that roleplay? And another thing, how did these niggas be finding videos like this, bro? Like, who sends y'all this material? You and your man decide to, like, become Hollywood actors for a night and choose, like, an arousing scenario or event. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be Hollywood actors. You can just be anything. This is a video on roleplay right now? Yeah. You roleplay before? Mm -mm. It's like... You should try it. You I can't not laugh. Okay. But come on, you're not a firefighter. You roleplay before? <laughs> of course. Oh, shit. I can tell. You sound like a veteran. <laughs> Yeah, what well, this nigga's about to tell me? Yeah. Right. See, like, bro, nobody. Oh my fucking goodness! Why would you want to even <laughs> like imagine this nigga role playing? Like, come on, no man. Stuff, why? Why, why did you just say that? Like, it has to be Hollywood. You always just ruin it, bro. <laughs> what? I want to know how much you've done. Slave? Yeah. Why would I do a slave? Like, I need somewhere to stay, massa. <laughs> Yo, this nigga's a clown, bro. Right this nigga's a clown. What are you saying right now? And then you be Have like, you done this before? No, no, no. Who's it? Who's the nigga on the I Am Athlete podcast? I'm breaking out his name. That nigga. Oh yeah, that nigga's hilarious. He's the one I saw yeah, talk yeah, about yeah. it. So now I ask people when they say they do role play. My first question is, No, a slave? No, no, that's crazy. Come on now. It's when you get to live out your wildest dreams. Ha. This nigga. I didn't want to. Um. You can't be a hypocrite about it, though. Like, this nigga l literally just said, I roleplay, and then he's gonna be like, all right, well, that's crazy. You, like, what? Why not just keep the shit behind closed doors? Why not just keep it private? Except this type of information. Erotic fantasies. It can be pretty intense for a lot of people, but personally for me, I feel like it's a good way to spice up your sexual relationship with somebody that you trust. I've only explored this area of sex with somebody that I was, like, insanely in love with, but... I can tell you right now that if you're getting bored of sex or if things are just getting too repetitive or if you're just excited to try new things, this is it. So we would role play like us at a board game shop and he'd be like the security guard like by the freaking door and then I would literally put like a box of Catan under my shirt and I would like walk out like all secretively and he'd be like, um, I can see the box and he would like wave his little sensor and then he would handcuff me and then the rest is history, babe. Like I said, you can experiment. I like that. That's a, that's a good, 
That's a good witch call right there. He was a shot. <laughs> he was like, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. W Riz. Yo! Nah, you're walling, 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 you ideas to do it in pop culture when i say scandals i mean like affairs or like oh, okay. serial killers and i don't mean it in a way that's like glorifying serial killers like i just mean like you know how like tv shows and like escape rooms draw inspiration from like really scary stories and like make rooms or like make movies about like like exploring that scary story and like adding some details here and there that's not really real or like whatever the case might be just for like entertainment purposes and also like informative, you know? I personally was turned on for a long time with the idea of going to Epstein Island. Obviously not really. <laughs> I'm trying really hard to understand like what the fuck. Yo, why did- <laughs> No! No, 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 no. That's, yeah, that's about I did not expect it That's to gotta be up. about the craziest I shit I heard all no! all week, bro. <laughs> That's gotta be about the craziest shit I heard you all shit, week. <laughs> you make this a Patreon exclusive. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, oh man. Bro, do you know how sick you had to be? For those who don't know, they used to just fly out people there and just some of the most sexual degenerate things used to happen to these women, bro. And for him to be like, oh man, I wish Not that was women. Oh, yeah, I thought it was kids. Everybody. Didn't mean everyone. Didn't even know it. They just popped up and it was just like, oh yeah, you're here now. So, so for him wow. to be like, I wish that was me. I mean, I wish I got, I actually got turned on by the thought of me like, imagine niggas just walking around Hollywood just waiting for his invitation. Can you ever think about like, why did that get you horny? That's what you really have to do. You have the Niggas walking on the strip waiting to see him. Like, yo, what the fuck? Like, role playing scenario with someone that I love and trust. I used to be turned on by the idea of going to Epstein's Island and having, like, him, Epstein, but, like, in reality, it's the guy that I'm seeing. Tell me to give him a massage and have me be a younger person and, like, bro, Yeah, God, you're walling. Sick fuck out of here. <laughs> this this nigga's actually. This nigga's going to detail. Nah, this nigga's actually. Yo. <laughs> You're actually finished, buddy. Like, what the fuck? He imagined himself being younger. You know when niggas, like, if niggas is this outspoken about the shit that they do behind closed doors, they are, there's always at least a little bit of sugarcoating. So when he says younger, like, come on, man. Why would you ever need to roleplay as being younger if you weren't role playing as a kid, like that, that shit is weird as fu no, bro, no, I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> Five minutes in, I'm already done trying to trying to understand. I don't need to, I don't need to get it. I don't need to understand. I'm all about like <clears throat> being open to other people's perspectives because I always, you know, being around the same people with the same thoughts and ideas as you, it just gets boring and it's really not anything that you're supposed to be doing anyways you're supposed to have people around you to challenge your thoughts and ideas but this i'm good buddy i i don't uh bro he you gotta go <laughs> i'm not with none of that you, shit you gotta bro get out of here bro you have to get out of i'm here. pretty sure you're oh, you're going to hell <laughs> now look like menace what that nigga man. theo vine said bro they, they did that why can't it just be a nigga who just getting a massage why does it have to be specifically one mc i also want to know like what's the detail how far is he going get banged like i've always dreamt of that like, it would not have to be that specific it wouldn't have to be spe specifically epstein for that scenario to like take place so the fact that like bro come on man yeah when i was watching his documentary like the fact that it he's choosing that specifically just lets you know bro to you're walling have sex with him like who wouldn't want that i mentioned this because that what documentary that i watched what 
Who, who, who wouldn't want it? Wait, what? Huh? Huh? Give me an idea when I was watching his documentary. Like, oh, I would love to go to an, like a rich person's island and then like be forced to have sex with him. Like, who wouldn't want that? I mentioned this because. <laughs> who wouldn't? <laughs> Yo. What is he talking about, bro? No, bro. Come on, man. Y'all better start talking. Y'all better start talking. <laughs> I think the niggas who were forced to do it. I think those are the first by the niggas who wouldn't want it because they got forced to do it. I don't think this is real. Am I dreaming? <laughs> are these niggas really talking like this niggas is saying? Y'all better start saying some shit, man. This guy is this insane. This nigga watched a documentary on a demented fucking thought. Who wouldn't want that? That's insane. Who wouldn't want that? No, that's like, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Check him into the ward, bro. Yeah, bro. He's no, 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 ward. Yeah, ward. ward. We're past yeah, therapy. Yeah, we need to. You need to pass some psych evals before we let you loose again. Chad. I always wonder, man. You got to be in love with somebody to even like. No, it's bring not. This no, 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 no. You have We've to. We've all been in love, and we haven't. This is not a matter of love. Love doesn't green light this. You've been in mental love. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is <laughs> mental him, illness. Wait, and then for him to ask his partner, like, you know what I really want to do today. <laughs> Because I would never feel comfortable even no. if I was ever at this point. <laughs> no, the amount of trust and love I would have to have with somebody to sit there and t tell them like I want to be Juan Epstein. Too. I, don't, I don't think I don't think that's true because he's telling the world and it's not like he. Trusts yeah, I don't think so. I don't think he's so. Telling oh, everybody about true. this degenerate fantasy. So it's not a matter of trust or love at all. It's just this nigga is so. You well, know what it was, is? motherfuckers' brains is just wired differently, bro. That's Honestly, all it is. Is, is. He looks young. So it's not like he had 80 years of sex and at 82 is like, yeah. well, that'd be crazy if he started at two. At 100 is like, oh, like, I'm getting bored of this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, he looks like he's probably 28, 29, 30, like you, 30. And like it's like, well? no, not even close. Problem is, if he's <laughs> here now, bro, in like 20 years. That is true. Because I'm a, and this is the beginner shit? Yes. Yo. Because I'm going to tell you right now, chat, sex is not chat. So that I have to it, it can't, pretend to be. But even when he said, like, if you're already bored of sex, I'm like, how is that possible? <laughs> like, don't you have to be with someone for a, for a while before you feel that? You getting bored with sex after like six months, like after the one year anniversary, like you know we really need to start spicing things. At up. At the age of twenty two, yeah, we need to start spicing things up. We need to spice bit. things up. That's All not right. being bored. That's just like that's that's just who you are. That's not being bored. In twenty nineteen, and I told him like the day after, like hey, come and if it is, that just further proves that like I'm pretty sure all of this shit, all the social media, the or prawn, whatever the fuck, YouTube, um. All of that plays a part because it's like an overstimulation to the point where, and especially now, people are always pushing this mentality of you need to, you need to be happy all the time. You need to be completely uh, satisfied with any and all pleasures that you got or that you want to have. Any desires, you need to fulfill all of them. That's just not true. That's just not how life is supposed to be um and when you get deeper into that whole mentality and you see people like this motherfucker and others trying to push the whole stop shaming stop king shaming like bro no okay <laughs> i'm i'm just gonna be over i'm just gonna go ahead and say it outright no we should not stop shaming because this is this is some sick ass shit right here bro there's so many different layers to it as well, because I don't, obviously, if you've been watching me for a while, or even if this is your first time seeing me, you can tell that I curse a lot. I am trying to clean it up a little, just because I know it's not really, it really doesn't benefit at all. Sometimes it helps with jokes, makes them, makes them land a little bit better, hit harder. Um, But overall, cursing really doesn't, you know, help you get your point across as long as you know the right words to say but i do believe that everyone should have the freedom to do and say whatever they want on their own platform regardless of if there's like children on it because i think there should just be ways i mean there are settings and stuff that you can have to make it so that your children wouldn't be able to see you know shit like this it's like bro what type of example is this setting <laughs>
literally telling people to feed into their deepest, darkest desires. Like, bro, just stop. Spice things up. It's not right. I told him like the day after, like, hey, can we do a role play with this? And he agreed with no hesitation. And he, you know, Jesus. pretended to be Mr. Epstein. And I'd be like a 17 year old boy. Um, like, what did I say earlier? What literally? What did I say? Fly me out to a private island, and I would get the oils and start massaging him, and I would ask him questions like, "Do you like that, Mr. Epstein?" I haven't been able to role play with someone that I trust, as you know, because it's been a while since I saw him. But I recently watched the Jeffrey Dahmer series on Netflix. Bro, a few months ago. Stop! Don't! 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 Come literally, don't. this nigga is come fulfilling on, his on, sexual on, fantasies on, come on, come on, through Netflix documentaries right come now. On, come on, come on, come on. Please don't go there, bro. Come on, bro. Please don't go there, bro. Come on. Damn, Please bro. don't it's go not there. Enough that it was, a, it was a minor. It's not enough that it was forced. Now you're about to fantasize about a serial killer? Like, come on, bro. Fucking cannibal. Has a hold of those nature documentaries. God. Yeah, you're right. You you know you're right. I mean you're right. I mean I mean this is already like the bottom of the barrel of human existence already. Anyway. <laughs> and you and you were like, bro, there's there's not a time in which I was watching or being informed with any of these things and my dick got aroused. Like I'm, I'm, just imagine that's what happened with him, bro. He's <coughs> learning about like some of the most degenerate human beings in the past 30, 40 years, and this nigga's penis is getting hard, bro. <laughs> Yo, shut the guy, fuck up. Bro. Like horrifying, like the situation was <laughs> brother. What is his name? Terrifying, and I don't ever want to be. Yeah, like, that sums it up. And, like killed and stuff. But at the same time, I would be lying if I said that like the show didn't kind of give me ideas or like turn me on in any way. Because first of all, Evan Peters playing Jeffrey Dahmer, sexy, and also the idea of like getting roofied by someone that I think is cute, not really sexy, but like in my mind, it's sexy. You know, it's funny because I actually. Like, what I'm checking the fuck out, bro. Like, I'm checking out, like, gang. Bro, what in the fuck is this nigga talking about, bro? <laughs> this nigga loves the lack of consent. <laughs> yeah, yes, that's actually literally what it is. The lack of consent. Yo, his wording <laughs> is funny. From he's the one. He's being the one taken. who's been taken. Yeah posted like a photo of me watching the show onto my Instagram and the guy that I used to role play with like he swiped up and commented and he was like oh what do I feel like while you're watching this like you would turn to your why do I feel like every episode you turn to your friend on the couch next to you and say not gonna lie friend and say uh, not gonna lie, I would let him roofie me, and it was so funny and so true because I would let someone hot roofie me in a role play setting, not actually but yeah like don't let people tell you that it's crazy and like makes you a bad person if you think these things because it's important to let our imaginations like run free and you can't normalize some things need to be like what did i say bro literally what did i say early in the video motherfuckers like him trying to normalize not having shame trying to normalize saying the craziest shit ever don't let nobody tell you it's crazy. No, nigga, this shit is crazy as fuck. Is that your rage in the back? <laughs> what is this? Why does this nigga have a, a poster? <laughs> what the fuck type of shit is that? Important to let Yo. Imaginations, like, run no, it isn't. You can't normalize. Some things need to <laughs> It's not important to let your imagination go to places like this, bro. It's important to express yourself in certain ways. But not like that, bro. It's not important. I promise you it's not. I promise you, you will not. It's not going to shorten your lifespan. It's not going to make your health decline if you don't do this. All it does is give you more stimulation. Make you bored with normal shit faster. I'm pretty sure a whole bunch of other worse shit. Of whatever the most that's deranged, that's sick, whatever you want to call it. Let's not normalize that, bro. And if I'm king shaming, that's what it is. Some people need to be shamed, though, bro. That is. Like, I, I genuinely, so they don't say this shit on public. And also, <laughs> just try not to do that, too. Like, I guess if that's your life and both of y'all niggas like that and both of y'all is like, okay, bro, like, whatever, you're not hurting nobody. But you but, have to be, I think he doesn't want people to shame him so he can feel more emboldened to say this so I can fi find out more people. People like myself. Bro, if he gets more emboldened, I've, I'm very fearful of what he's gonna say next, bro. What's <laughs> the next fantasy that he doesn't want to let us in on? Because there's things that he's done that he is not talking about. 100. percent You might as well say, man. Just you've been a slave, bro. He's fucked a dead body, probably. Relax, really relax. Dead. Don't even speak some shit like this out in the universe, he bro. Be the dead body. 100. 
Yo, man, let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. What is your craziest role playing story? To cra I think that's weak, bro. That that excuse of to stop kink shaming because people are born that way and they can't help it. I think that's weak as fuck, bro. Because nigga, you can literally apply that same logic to damn near anything. You you're born. I don't know the exact wording of it, but some someone somewhere I remember said something along the lines of we're born like men are born wanting to procreate as much as possible right meaning it, that was like their excuse as to why men should be able to cheat brain dead okay brain dead it's literally the most brain dead shit not more brain dead than the shit that he just said but you know you know what i'm saying i'm trying to say is it, that's a brain dead excuse like just because something is like ingrained in instincts and nature and whatever the hell you else you want to talk about that does not mean it's right morally that doesn't mean morally is correct that doesn't mean that you don't have the willpower to control it if you are going to sit here and tell me that you aren't able your brain that is in your head isn't able to control your actions you you lost me i'm not i'm not buying it that we control each and every single thing that we do so to sit here and say that you can't fight nature fight your instincts and you feel the need to act on certain desires it's just not true bro it's just not true you need to you need to practice some self-control you need to learn and do what humans are best at doing which is adapting because that is that is some tomfoolery if I've ever heard it, what he just said. Do better, man. Do better.